Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we took some sips of our water, and mm -hmm. now we are back to talk about Xbox and Bethesda. <laughs> That's E3. a lot of water coming. I did drink a lot of water. It is hot <laughs> over here, and even though I have the okay, air conditioning wait. going. I thought that that was bigger than, than it actually was. So did I. I yeah, thought it was yeah. huge. Oh. Yeah, when you pulled, yeah. like, and I just saw the top, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's actually like really short. Jug. It's short. Yeah, yeah, it's like fine. the size of my head. That's a casual casual a couple of water. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's casual. Casual okay. cup of water. Super casual. <laughs> it is. Camille's a hot. casual cup of water drinker. <laughs> She's just a cash. She's yeah, so cash. Yeah. Um, I, Aaron, actually, why don't we start with you about predictions for the Xbox and Bethesda showcase? We all know that this yeah. this is going to be a huge marker for Xbox to really validate them buying Bethesda and having now Bethesda underneath uh, their family of studios yep. so they're gonna want to show a lot of good stuff what do you think yep. we're gonna see uh well obviously i think we know for sure we're gonna see something from halo and by the looks of the little like artwork that they had released announcing the showcase it mm -hmm. might be like a multiplayer thing which sure. is uh, pretty exciting uh, at least like that's what i'm hoping for because we've seen enough from the campaign now i've already gotten ideas to what we're gonna do in the story of the game and then obviously as well like i think we're all hoping to, to get a bit more of a an update on the fidelity that was a bit of a controversy with the initial reveal of Halo Infinite. Um, so hopefully we get a bit of an update on that. We get an idea as to what the multiplayer is going to be like, what the gameplay will look like there. Um, and then besides that, like maybe we get something else from Fable uh, mm -hmm. as we had that announced last year. Hold and on, wait, before you go any more, can we just kind of flesh Halo? out Halo a bit? Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about Halo. All right, yeah. so you think we're going to see some multiplayer stuff I'm, I'm yeah. going to agree with that. Mm -hmm. I think we are going to get a new enough. a new gameplay trailer um, and yeah. then also a deep dive into multiplayer. Yeah. yeah. And I think and I think yeah. with that, we'll get an announcement on a beta, something yeah. where we can get our hands on it. And I'm assuming they're going to meet that 2021 release date. Will we? So, so you think I, we're going to they they got yeah, Bethesda, think... so they might just do the hey, guess what? If you got Xbox Game Pass, you can play the multiplayer beta for a week. Boom, here yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, weekend, oh, 100% the yeah. they'll do stuff like that where they'll try and get people invested in uh, Xbox Game Pass through things like yeah. that, through some uh, perks. But uh, but yeah, I expect that we're going to get a look at the the multiplayer for Halo Infinite, an update on the fidelity of the game and how like things have improved and the look and everything. And then maybe just some sort of announcement as to like, hey, next week beta or you know next right. month, whatever, whenever it may be. Yeah, I think that would be a super smart way of approaching it is they really have to nail the presentation of this first and foremost, like especially after last year, yeah. especially after all these reports of people leaving the studio, like the, yeah, the creative yeah. leads and stuff like they have to sell this game to not only newcomers, but Halo fans like diehard Halo fans like like us. Um, and for the conversation of is this game coming out this year? Yeah, it has to. This is yeah. going to be such a squandered chance if they don't hit November 15th or November 16th. If yeah. they don't release this game on the 20th anniversary of the franchise and the, the console, what's this all about, man? Like, yeah. they, they set it yeah. up so well. Like they, they gave themselves that extra year. They delayed it past the, the, the launch of the Series X, lined it up specifically in the fall. That's what the, the window is right now. If they have to nail that, I, I'm predicting like November 15th. 15th 16th that's the that's the anniversary date of the the console and the game that would be the best date to do it build yeah, up that hype and to I, be honest like if there's any time like if people haven't already hit the big red panic button on halo infinite considering the fact that it didn't meet the original release date a bunch of people have left the project mm -hmm. like if, if it's if now is not the time if it gets delayed again yeah. then it's absolutely it. the time to be like oh boy what the hell is going on yeah. with yeah. halo infinite yeah i i I'm a Halo like ride or die fan. I love the Halo franchise. I've even gone back and played like the Master Chief Collections on PC now. And I've even gone back and played like Halo 4. And there is still like stuff in Halo 4 that I find really enjoyable. I think it's really only Halo 5 that just didn't age well for me. Mm. Agreed. Um, but just Halo as a franchise in general is like very near and dear to me. So like I want to see some multiplayer. I, I, I hope it's good. I hope it just lives up to the hype. It, it, the multiplayer being free is just that is a game changer in my personal opinion. I think a lot of people are underestimating how huge Halo will be on PC, uh, especially as like a free to play thing. Yeah. Uh, and then if they add like a battle royale yeah. mode, then people are gonna go even more crazy for it. Like there's just so much potential mm -hmm. here 
for Halo Infinite to be just the ultimate Xbox game. Yeah. And if they if they delay it again and if they just miss the mark in general, that's going to be that's going to be really rough for Xbox. Yeah, I feel it's, like yeah. And I don't, Xbox really has to show um, that them buying all these studios hasn't interfered with their core franchises. Um, sure. So they have to yeah. show a really strong showing for Halo, especially with everybody that didn't or wasn't impressed with the gameplay uh, that they showed earlier. I think we're going to yeah. get that confirmation it is coming out, you know, in time for the anniversary of the franchise. Yeah. I think we're also going to get a reveal of either a special edition of the Xbox Series X or a controller mm-hmm. to commemorate yeah, like um, the anniversary yeah. as well. I don't know how I feel about these Battle Royale rumors, though. Uh, please, to me, no, I, as, we've, as we've talked about this before, if it doesn't take away from the campaign, if it doesn't replace any of the, the, the modes in multiplayer that everyone would come to expect from Halo, I feel like it's just the thing where it's like, why not? Mm-hmm. You know, right. why, why not do it? Because I look at, I look at Modern Warfare as a perfect example. They did Warzone as this free to play, completely separate thing, whereas the main game, Modern Warfare, was still continually getting updates. They had a campaign in there that was pretty solid. They have a decent like set of multiplayer modes that you can go and enjoy. And if you want to, you can jump into Warzone and give it a try. It's always just something that's there. It didn't take away from Call of Duty like Modern Warfare at all. So if they were to do a Battle Royale mode for Halo Infinite, as long as it's that same scenario, because another example that people can bring up is like Black Ops 4. Where they had a battle Blackout, round in that yeah. game, yeah. but they didn't have a campaign. So essentially, right. whatever development time or process went into Blackout took away from them potentially having a campaign for that game, which then it just ruins the experience for some people. Yeah. And and nobody wants that. So as long as they're not going to plan to do that for Halo, then I say go for it because yeah. Battle Royale, it's, it's new, it's hot, it's what everyone enjoys in video games right now. And to be honest, it makes a lot of sense for something like Halo. Yeah. It have does. it be the ODSTs. It Imagine like the opening of every game being mm. you dropping into like a planet as like a, as an ODST. Like that would be awesome. I think that like there's so much potential there. It sets um, itself it's, self up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like that's yeah. in the lore. Yeah. Exactly. And it's different. Exactly. How it plays is different than any other battle royale that's yep. out there now. So I feel like if we do see this um, and, you know, Masonator is saying in chat battlegrounds 2.0, what everyone's assuming it is. Um, yeah. I think what we'll see is it releasing on Game Pass, available to everybody sure, on yeah. Game Pass yeah. Yeah. for free. It kind of yeah. lives there, becomes its own thing. I think, uh, yeah. personally, I think it has to happen only because right now, when we have the conversation of Halo Infinite, of course, you know, us us four, we're, we're into the franchise because we have that lineage, we have that history with the yeah. franchise. I don't think that people who grew up with Halo or like people the age of the when Halo came out uh, initially like 10 like 12 year olds or people entering high school they don't have that same affinity that we yeah. do to Halo like right they're they're on Warzone they're playing Fortnite they're playing Apex they need that battle royale game mm-hmm. yeah. to to be relevant and and to to get into the Halo franchise cuz i don't yeah. think that coming out with a rock solid campaign and a good multiplayer is enough to get the younger generation who haven't really touched Halo into the into the franchise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and See, as well, was... like just just looking at Halo and sorry sorry to cut you off, Malik, but like just Very looking good. at Halo Infinite, like the pressure that's on that game. I always, yeah. you know, we always talk about making sure like everyone respects the devs and making sure that like you know it, their like, well being is very important. But man, I can only imagine the pressure that Dick yeah. has on themselves, not just for the fact that this has to be like a saving grace for Xbox. Um, not that they really need it, but just in general to have like an exclusive that people are excited about, yeah. but also just for the franchise. I mm-hmm. mean, even even though I think Halo 4 did age well, it came out to some mixed reviews and people weren't very happy with the multiplayer. And then Halo 5 ended up being a bit of a dud as well. So if Halo Infinite is just more of the same, then this is just going to be seen as a case of like Xbox milking a franchise and like forcing <laughs> Uh, more games to come out from it without any like actual substance or quality. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, yeah, go, agree. Exactly. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And that was just 
that was just kind of what I was going to touch on is like even more so than Bandai Namco with Elden Ring, Xbox has the most pressure on them out of anybody at E3. Yep. Yep. They Agreed. cannot miss with Halo Infinite. Nope. They can't have a delay and they can't have any issues. Like it, it sucks, but they have to hit the mark on this. And I think a battle royale mode would be cool, but I want them to come out with a cohesive experience, something that feels good, a story that gripes me or not gripe. man words today uh just something that pulls me in and, and really yeah. gets me reinvested back in the series because like as somebody who does like you mentioned has that legacy with halo i feel so disconnected with it from the past years like sure. it just feels like kind of i don't want to say a, say a dead ip because halo is never going to be a dead ip yeah. but it feels mistreated and they really need to revitalize that and whether that is a battle uh, battle royale mode that brings it back or it's just the base game doing well they can't miss uh yeah. and i think that's the biggest thing for xbox is i know we're going to talk about bethesda and all this other stuff halo this halo infinite is going to be the do or die for xbox like it doesn't matter what they've done with xbox game pass so far it doesn't matter their acquisition with bethesda if halo infinite does not do well that's that's it yeah I, I agree. Um, yep. Before we get into Bethesda, um, the beast that is, let's talk about some of the other things that we're probably going to see at this Xbox showcase. Sure. I'm pretty sure we're probably going to see some Psychonauts, too. Um, mm -hmm. That's kind of going to go there. We're probably going to see a lot of cool indie stuff. Are we going to see Perfect Dark? No. Uh, maybe. I don't no. think so, either. Yeah, I, I, I mean... I don't think it's out of the question. No, me neither. I just, I don't, I don't think we're going to see it. I, I just think it's too soon. Think, I think, it, yeah, I think it's too soon in a year where things have been kind of all over the place. Um, I, I just think perfect dark is not another, we're going to see that like three years down the low road. We're I also, I also think that there's a, a lot of other games that Xbox can talk about. You've got like Everwild. um, we briefly talked about fable. Fable could fable. be a pos but I think that's in this, another situation like, uh, Perfect Dark, where it's a little too, too soon. far out. Yeah, yeah it's too, too soon. soon. I don't Do think we? So because oh, really? They no, because here's the reason why. Before they announced that, and I can't remember the name of the studio. I'm so sorry, but the studio Play that did Playground? Forza, oh. who's Playground, yeah, Playground yeah. Games. Yeah. They, a year prior, they had listings for mm -hmm. writers and for developers for a fantasy title. I think Fable is farther along than people realize because Fable has always been that shock value title that they, they're like, you get like the cute fantastical or fantasy music and it's like yep. this like mythical environment. Like it has so much charm, even if they don't announce a release date, they're yeah. going to say something about Fable because that's, people are going to talk about it on Twitter. People are going to mm -hmm. be talking about it in forums. True. Like Fable is just one of those titles that's going to grab people whether or not it's going to be released this year or next year it's going to be talked about and i think it is far enough along that they can put out some promotional material for it okay sure. um are we going to see stuff from hellblade 2 because we see a lot of that when they're marketing Actually, the xbox series yes. x right yes yeah. i think so because yeah. that was like one of the first things that they revealed when they mm -hmm. like announced the series x because i remember xbox wanted to be the first ones to talk about their next gen console mm -hmm. yeah, it was game that was like yeah and, yeah and then that was like the first game that they announced with it. yeah okay so maybe yeah. uh chris mentions in chat avowed That's i don't think we're gonna i don't think we're gonna see avowed. I, uh, you don't no. think so? i don't know I, I i'm 50 50 on avowed honestly uh, i could i could I, see it either I way give you guys what i think that my my out there prediction for yeah. the showcase that, that uh, is it I mean, Bethesda? Yes. Should we wait till we get to yeah, that? Yeah, I yeah, have yeah, a couple yeah. more. Yeah, Xbox I know we're all. Okay. Yeah, I know we're talking about you know um, Bethesda. We all have thoughts on Bethesda, but I feel like um, because Nintendo's good. Uh, sorry, Xbox is going to be focusing a lot on Bethesda. I think we won't get avowed because of that. Um, oh, okay. That's why I think we're probably going to see Turn Ten. Oh, um, Forza. Forza, okay. of course because they yeah. just have to. And I think that's pretty much it until we get to the Bethesda stuff. Yeah, do you guys okay. have anything else other than Bethesda? I do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I think because this is going to be the anniversary, they're going to talk a lot about service, lineage of the, the console yeah. and stuff like that. And part of that is bringing back Xbox Design Labs. They got to bring that back, um, kind of just celebrating, you know, their services and stuff like that and get those new controllers customized for, for people. Yeah. Um, so I, I think that one's a given. Uh, the other one I want to 
briefly talk about you, you Camille, you talked about indie games. I think uh, Cuphead is going to be hope there, so. but I don't. Uh, Honestly, I'm putting a spin on it though. The Delicious Last Course DLC. Okay. Mm. Just going to be remodeled into Cuphead 2. Okay. There's oh, no man. way that's still DLC. So I, you, I don't think, believe you that's think it's just going to be a completely new game? I Yeah, knowing Studio MDHR, they're perfectionists, and the fact that they uh, announced this DLC in 2018, they're, they're not working on like three new levels. Come on. This is a brand yeah, new game. Like right. this is they're going to come out and say like it's Cuphead 2 or Cuphead new title or whatever, but it's not DLC. Like they've been working on it for far too long. Staying quiet it has on it, I don't a, believe. Oh, long it, time, long time, sorry. Just this week they're going to showcase the uh, Cuphead Netflix show. Come on. This is this is marketing all lining up for something really big for Cuphead. All yeah. right. I like that. I love Cuphead. Will we sh- if we see a little bit of that show? Maybe that'd be pretty cool too. Um, oh, it's at the ne- Netflix uh, conference this week. The oh, so out. it's at. Oh, okay. They're doing their own thing, like uh, showing off like Witcher oh, stuff, okay. Castlevania. So, like, Cuphead is confirmed to be shown in some capacity, oh. whether or not it's at Xbox. I don't know, but I'm excited about that. We'll yeah. probably they'll probably show at the Netflix one, and then we'll get that trailer again oh, at maybe. E3, and then the reveal. Ooh. It's a second game. Yeah, back to back. Ooh, back I love back. that. Ooh, I think that's okay. what they'll do. I, I like it. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's go back to Caboose, because you wanted to yes. start off with the Bethesda stuff. We could mm. iron it out as we talk about mm-hmm. each title, and then we'll move on to the other studios after that. Yeah, I mean, I know that there are some obvious ones that we can that we can think about when it comes to what Bethesda is going to showcase, um, or at least some obvious guesses that mm-hmm. a lot of people are going to have on the show. But I want to go... I want to give you guys my my big out there prediction, and that's Elder Scrolls Six official announcement, exclusive Xbox and PC. That's I, I think that. I I don't know if they're gonna like reveal anything or like show. They might show like a cinematic trailer that gives us the title of the game, no. and then with that like Phil Spencer, he just like he ascends from or descends. He from the ascends. Heavens. <laughs> he, he he descends from the heavens. He's got wings, and he's like. He's like, by the way, I am Elder here Scrolls to deliver next. the sermon that yeah. <laughs> Elder Scrolls Six is coming in. Is, blah 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 date. Yeah. I don't think uh, you're wrong. We're not getting I a think, date. We're not getting we're anything get on date. Elder Scrolls. I, I'm not saying a date, but I think a cinematic trailer, no. announcement of the title of Definitely the game, not. and then officially like stating for sure, factually, it's going to be exclusive to Xbox and PC. Ah, okay. Uh, okay interesting i don't think they will i don't think they will show anything i think they'll just confirm it's exclusive to xbox and pc but we're not going to get any gameplay i think that's too far down the road to even think about gameplay either we're not going to get a trailer nothing like they're not showing Uh, us anything so i think Uh, i think confirmation on their stance of like xbox pc is going to be confirmed like it has to be confirmed at e3 but i think it's going to all be done through starfield I think we get that cinematic trailer, we get that gameplay deep dive and stuff like that, and yeah. then they they end it off with whether it's Todd Howard or Todd and Phil both on the stage, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. middle fingers up, like no, this is this is exclusive to our platforms, like yeah. <laughs> solidifying yeah. it. Like there's no one's gonna come out of this conference being like, well, maybe the way that they talked about it seemed a little nebulous. No, it's gonna be like yeah. confirmed one way or the other. Um, but I think. The spotlight has to be on Starfield this year, right? Yes. Yeah. And I think Elder Scrolls, well, hype, and I would love to see it. I would love to be wrong. I think that takes away from this new IP trying to establish itself uh, under Bethesda. I guess that's fair. I have a question for you guys. Do you, because there's been a lot, a lot of rumors and a lot of talking. Do you think that Avowed is actually its own separate game from the next Elder Scrolls? Yes. Yeah. 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 You think so 100? Because yes. it just, that that trailer felt so much like the first Elder Scrolls no. Online trailer. It It's just so, but, how, but how do you but that's like saying out is Elder Outer Scrolls? Worlds not a Fallout game? Like, that, that's true. You know, no, Obsidian, that, yeah. Obsidian just knows what they, they're doing. Yeah. Um, and I, I mean, granted, Outer Worlds came out before like the acquisition and stuff like that. And they very right. clearly were like, we're not Fallout, but we're kind of Fallout. But I do think Avowed is its own thing, uh, completely I, separate. I just don't want Avowed to be like the in-between popcorn snack until we get Elder Scrolls. I, it I, will I be. I want it to it will be. be. Uh, yeah. Absolutely, 100% it will be. 
There's no way they are the same game. It wouldn't have made sense for them to show that game and then also announce Elder Scrolls, yeah, right? Right. You would want to show that game, show it some time, and be like, "Oh, this is Elder Scrolls," right? Like it yeah, wouldn't. Right, it, right. I don't think it would make sense for them to talk about that. Uh, Cameron Winkler says, "Indiana Jones." Are we gonna? Oh, yeah, that's right. But would that be too early? Be the UB four. Yeah. That'd be that'd be UB. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna. No, it wouldn't. That. What? No, it would actually no, it wouldn't. It would no, be it's Xbox. Machine games. It's machine games. You're oh, right. Oh yeah. It would be uh, Xbox. So yeah. no, we're not. But gonna I think get it's that. too early. Yeah, we're not I gonna get that. Yeah. Not at all. Like you said, it's gonna be all Starfield. But I will say I I think that a Wolfenstein. Yes, I was just about to say Wolfenstein. I think that game is probably closer, and then. Machine Games will then transition to uh, really showcasing Indiana Jones afterwards. But yeah, Wolfenstein 3. Mm. Um, are we going to see anything with Doom or? No. Uh, I don't think, so. I don't think there's much left for Doom. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I agree. I think we're definitely going to see Deathloop, though. We're going to see oh, more yeah, Deathloop. We have to, but I don't want to see too really? much Deathloop. Yeah, I'm really torn on whether or not they're going to put focus on Deathloop and Ghostwire Tokyo in this conference. I think they'll just be trailers. I don't think they'll be focuses yep. or deep dive. It'll just be like, oh, we have everything coming. And then you're going to see a new trailer in like sure. um, a barrage of trailers. And yeah. a new trailer for Deathloop will yeah, be in that. Maybe. maybe. Um, yeah. And same with Ghostwire Tokyo. Um, but it, it's kind of, I don't know. Ghostwire is kind of like the... the I don't know. I don't think they'll show that. it if it's coming to PlayStation. That's I don't what I mean, right? Gonna put, I don't think they're going to put any effort into it if it's also coming to PlayStation. Deathloop, I do see a trailer. I see it's it's almost written itself. You're mm. going to get a trailer that picks up off the first one, and this time it shows the multiplayer aspect. Like, mm. It's obvious that that's the next step of what they're going to do for Deathloop. And also, that seems like a title that could do really well. And I don't, I think that they recognize that it could do really well and that they're going to give it like that care that it needs. Mm -hmm. That's true. Anything else that you guys think we're going to see with, for Bethesda? Uh, just besides I, my big prediction and, and then, of course, like Starfield and stuff, I'm really not sure if they're going to have a ton. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're well, there is a ton on Fallout 76. It, they just released a new I, DLC. I, I think Man. with Fallout 76, they're done with like spending any money on marketing. Like they have their fan base, they have their player base of people who yeah. are still playing it, and they're just gonna leave it at that. Yeah. Right. But I think we, I think we, I, I agree with that. I think we see a trailer with a bunch of fan service content, though. Maybe. I think that they just released a trailer, say, "Here's a bunch of new stuff you're getting in Fallout 76 available today." I yeah. think we, I think we start seeing that same kind of marketing loop that uh, Elder Scrolls Online does. Every single E3, Bethesda comes out and they're like, "Here's five minutes dedicated to Elder Scrolls Online," and then those those fans, it's like those diehard fans, are like, <laughs> "Oh, absolutely, yeah." But those diehard fans are like, "Yes, I can't wait for this. This looks amazing," and everyone else is like, "I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you guys." <laughs> and I think sure, that's yeah. the same thing for Fallout 76, where they'll, yeah. they'll talk about an update and everyone will sure. be like, cool. Okay, cool, cool. I, that's I when you get, you being... refill your water at exactly. that point, yeah. and then you come I, back. I, I remember that part for, for uh, I went to the um, the Bethesda conference back in 2019, yeah. and, and I just remember, first of all, I remember there being like a, a group of people in the front who were extra loud um but then besides that i just remember when when fallout 76 revealed that just completely absurd battle royale mode mm -hmm. i was just sitting oh. there everyone was just sitting there like what yeah yeah <laughs> what just happened i don't think we're gonna get any more battle royales um and i think that's pretty much no. it for the xbox showcase but i do want to yep. just you know get your take on one more thing before we move on because we're running out mm -hmm. of time here do we think, uh, Chris or Cameron, I think, actually asked, do we think we're going to see Gears? Is the coalition going to be at this presser? I personally don't think so. Uh, do you think that no. we get an announcement of no. Gears 6? Similar to like what they did with Elder Scrolls during Bethesda's conference years ago, where they were just like, here's literally just the confirmation that it exists? Yeah, I think <laughs> they, they've been talking you know, that they're working with Unreal Engine 5, I think it is, right? Yeah. So yeah. Um, maybe we get that announcement that it's in the works, but we're definitely not going to see anything. Okay. I think even an announcement takes away from Halo, and this is Halo's mm, year. That's true. That's true. That's, that's true. Like, yeah. Xbox is Halo and Gears, and they never like to stack those two up. Uh, I think there's one rare occasion during, like, the 360 era where two games, like, both of those games came out around the same time, but otherwise... I don't, I don't see the need to talk about both of them in the same year. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. 
And All if right. anything, you wait till you wait till the Gears of War movie is farther along, and then you <laughs> announce it. Yeah. Sure.